In order for the situation to change, to really reclaim that narrative of Africa rising, I know I need one big idea. In June, it is going to be the World Economic Forum on Africa, and I think to myself, how perfect. I reach out to influential young people on the cutting edge of social justice activism, and they're all excited. We come up with a set of recommendations that we can take to the World Economic Forum, an alternative narrative to Africa Rising. So we know we have this incredible platform where I will present these recommendations to the center of power. And I am absolutely terrified. What if we aren't taken seriously? What if nobody buys into the idea? It's my turn to go up to the podium and officially launch the Africa Not For Sale campaign. My heart is beating incredibly fast. I put my hand on my joystick and I wheel myself up. I take a deep breath and I start speaking. I command the stage. I captivate the audience. They are interested and they are in support of the campaign. I see my friends, my colleagues, my comrades being listened to. I can see the confidence in their eyes. I see us modeling a new form of leadership that is ethical, that's transparent, that is about human rights. Approximately 60% of the continent is under the age of 25. If young people are continually ignored and sidelined, then the future of this continent is at stake. It's imperative that young people feel protected, that they feel somebody's got their back.